James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted. Including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander.
What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Nothing in the mission brief. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. Come in, Jacob. This is Bryn. Jacob, are you all right? Come Jacob! In. How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh... You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agree. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster, who tortured his own brother. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. 
I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You gotta be kidding. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. Jacob, Dish should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. Hostiles incoming. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Garrus, you do the repairs. We'll do. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on! Shepard, AA guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch Shuttle 1. Shuttle 1 is away. Alright, everyone.
Everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Double time it. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Will do. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Here we go. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Hold them a little longer. That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Headed to you with the shuttle! Understood. Crap! Back on Z! Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear you a landing zone. Jacob, landing area cleared. Roger that. Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Too bad. We could have used your experience. I have a feeling you'll do all right, Shepard. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay. Hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seemed like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many. The choice to leave someone behind until you're in that moment. I... <sighs> Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. 
I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. <laughs>